presented by Church Tech U, it's the ProPresenter Show. On today's show, other fixes and updates in ProPresenter 7.12. Hi, and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I teach all about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, why don't you join the over 10,000 other people that have subscribed and clicked on the little bell icon so that they can be the first to know about the new tutorials when I release them basically every week. So, 7.12 has some pretty cool whiz-bang features, some great stuff, but um, there are some other things that they've added into the mix that you should not gloss over. So let's head over to my computer and I'll talk exactly about what I mean. So, here we are in 7.12 and... Um, I've told you about CCLI reporting. I've told you about the text background effects. Well, one of the big things that uh, they've changed here in 7.12, let me just use this as an example, is um, if you click on this little button right here, there's a, let me hide myself real quick, there's a thumbnail background color. Now, a lot of people, let me enable that, and notice that it makes the backgrounds really pop here so that you can uh, read things a little bit more easily than if you use this, uh, this transparency indicator, the checkerboard pattern, or um, you turn that off, whatever, then um, that is one thing that was present in ProPresenter 7.10.4 and older, and it was present in 7.11, but there was a problem in that in 7.11 it would obscure any media cues. So anytime you had uh, like a background, it would cover that up. And you might not want that like for your opening slide loop, etc. So they fixed that here in 7.12. So people that were using the background color um, in the slides layer for that purpose now don't have to use that. They can now use it to make things a little easier to read here in 7.11 without obscuring the backgrounds. So that is thing number one that has been fixed. Another thing that's been fixed <clears throat> is they added um, ProRes acceleration on the Mac. So Apple has their own codecs. Just so you know, a codec is basically instructions on how to compress and decompress video, how to either make it smaller or to how to leave more information in the video. So ProRes tends to leave more information, so that means it's a bigger file. Well, Apple, seeing this as a problem, since you had bigger files, they built in hardware acceleration into their computers. Well, now uh, ProPresenter takes advantage of that. Another thing is if you go up here to Live and Capture Settings, if you're using Resi from your ProPresenter installation, if you had a Mac that was using, um, that had the Apple Silicon, you know, the M1, the M2, the M2 Pro, etc., those, it wasn't working in Ventura. So they have fixed that. That's something else that they've done. There's a couple other things that, as I'm recording this, um, they said are in the works, but I haven't actually seen them. But if you were having a problem specifically in 7.11, it could be that now that is fixed. So make sure you check that before you just assume, oh no, everything's broken. I'm, I'm cursed to stay at 7.10 something or 7.9 something. No, not necessarily. They might have actually fixed the problem that you're dealing with because feature releases are also bug releases. There are just bug releases where they just deal with problems, but 
don't complain, oh, they're just releasing new features. No, they're also dealing with bugs. They've got two teams that deal with those. So those are some of the different things that are available in ProPresenter 7.12. If you like this content, you'd probably like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course. So head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro the number seven and quick give me your name and email address and i'll go ahead and make a login for you for free so you can take that course anytime you want until next time this is paul allen clifford from trinitydigitalmedia.com and churchtechu.com reminding you to go out and change eternity <laughs>